last year, uh, I think if I asked you in a in a private moment, same with Joe Fox executives, how much be- how could it get better than the Cubs breaking their jinx and and then against an Indians team that was trying to do the same in a seventh game that went to extra innings with the rain delay and all that stuff and and home runs by both teams, right? How can it get any better? And then this one, it feels like it's topping it. It really does. There's no question about it. And I'm wondering why. Why do you think this series has been so entertaining and so good? Well, I think it's the kind of a series that appeals to a casual baseball fan. I wouldn't say it's a classic kind of series, but what we're seeing here is a lot of home runs, a lot of back and forth, um, a lot of emotions, especially on the Astros side, but you've seen a lot from the Dodgers as well. So I think for a fan who doesn't have rooting interest in the game, you're kind of locked in. You know, you've you know, fall into this wave and you're just wide riding it. Whereas last year, the narrative before the series started already had people locked in. You know, can the Cubs win? Can the Indians win? And the history of those narratives, I, I think, carried everybody through. The games were great. Game seven was fantastic. But in this case, I think there wasn't, you know, obviously the Astros don't have a national profile the Cubs had, but they haven't won in their history. You have the Dodgers haven't won since 88. But the games themselves have pulled people in. If I'm correct, I think the ratings for the series have gone up with every successive game. That doesn't happen all the time. And that tells you people are getting on board because of the baseball being played. For more Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Rich Eisen Show app.